In this lesson, we learn how to compare data by calculating z-scores. The formula to calculate a z-score for a normal distribution is z equals x minus mu over sigma, where z is the z-score, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. The z-score tells us how many standard deviations a data point is from the mean. For example, my score in the maths test was 83%, the class mean is 81% and the standard deviation is 7.3%. My English score was 75%, the mean was 55% and the standard deviation was 8.5%. Assuming a normal distribution, in which subject did I perform the best compared to the rest of the class? We calculate the z-score for maths. x is the individual result, which is 83%. mu is the mean of 81%. sigma is the standard deviation of 7.3%. These values are substituted into the z-score formula. 83 minus 81 all divided by 7.3 equals 0 0.274. The maths z-score is 0 0.274. For English, my score of 75% is x. The mean is 55% and sigma is 8.5%. The z-score for English is 2.35. Here is the z-distribution. The mean result is in the middle at zero. Numbers to the right of zero are z-scores larger than the mean. Numbers to the left of zero are z-scores less than the mean. The z-score for maths is 0 0.274, which is here. The z-score for English is 2.35, which is here. The z-score is how many standard deviations from the mean a result is. It allows us to compare the two results even though they have different means. English was 2.35 standard deviations above the mean and was therefore better than maths with only 0 0.274. For example, my time to run 200 metres is 28 seconds. The mean was 31 seconds and the standard deviation was 1.5 seconds. My time for 500 metres was 132 seconds. The mean was 125 seconds and the standard deviation was 8.2 seconds. Assuming a normal distribution, in which race did I perform the best compared to the other participants? For 200 meters, my score was 28. Mu was 31 and sigma was 1.5. The z-score for 200 meters was minus two. For 500 meters, my score was 132. Mu was 125 and sigma was 8.2. The z-score for 500 meters was 0.854. On the z-score distribution curve, the z-score for 200 metres of minus 2 is here, and the z-score for 500 metres of 0 0.854 is here. Negative z-scores mean that the data point was less than the mean. When running a race, we want a low time, and so the z-score of minus 2 is significantly below the mean and is therefore a better time than the z-score for 500 metres 
which is actually above the mean. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.